since I was a little kid, I had the dream of opening my own cinema. So today I can finally do that using this. This is the AlphaWise Q9. It's a budget-friendly smart home projector that can deliver a bright 300-inch projection. But is the image resolution on this device 4K or not? Because there are some misleading information on the internet. Let's start the review and find out. By the way, feel free to stick with me during the duration of this video to find out about the next gadget that I have on review for this channel. It's a really cool one, you don't want to miss that. So if you don't know me already, I'm Rotodil and I've been reviewing gadgets for the last couple of years now. That's basically all that I do here on YouTube. I invite you to join the channel by clicking on the red subscribe button down below. Once you click on that button, you'll be able to join me on my adventures with reviewing gadgets. So I just did a quick unboxing for you guys and uh, there's a bunch of cable, we're gonna talk about them in a moment. But also we have the projector itself. This is actually the back part of the projector and this is the front. And we do get a case over here which will protect your lens. You also get this thing which make sure that you take out from the box before you throw it out. This is like a tripod adapter mount which basically gives the tilt to the AlphaWise projector. I almost threw the box with this inside because it comes um, on the outer side of the box. So check out the box before you throw it away that you took out everything. So first of all, let's answer the big question. The AlphaWise Q9 supports 4K video file playback, but projects in 1080p resolution. Even so, the picture quality still looks great. The AlphaWise Q9 projects 1920 by 1080 high resolution video that creates a 40 to 300 inch screen size display. This projector has a 150 watts LED with a lifespan of around 30,000 hours. It also has two 5 watts built-in speaker system. So overall we have an impressive projector here that can also de deliver sound but a great image quality. One negative thing here is that you need to understand that the product page is kind of misleading because it says or suggests that this might be a 4K projection. It's not. It just supports 4K videos, I mean files with 4K resolution. So how large can your projection get while you're using this projector? Depends on the distance from the projection surface. 1.8 meters will project around a 40 inch screen, while five meters away from the surface will project a huge 300 inch screen. Keep in mind though that the larger the screen, the less light reaches the surface, so you will need to turn off all lights to get a decent quality when projecting a 300 inch. One negative here is that you don't have optical zoom. That means that if you want to change that projection screen size, you will have to physically move the projector. There is no optical zoom feature where you just flip a switch or turn a knob and then you get a bigger screen or a smaller screen. Obviously you can do that digitally, but it's not optical. So this is a negative here, but you can live with that if you can move the projector away or closer to the surface. But this also brings us to the next feature, which is the brightest intensity. On the product spec sheet, we are being told that the AlphaWise Q9 is a 16,000 lumens projector. However, it's probably half of that. So you still need either a small screen or a dark lit room to get a really good picture of quality. Don't get me wrong, this is still a very powerful LED on it, but for my tests and many others, it doesn't look like a 16,000 lumens, it's just too much to be right here. But I still think it's one of the brightest projectors that I have seen, especially at this price range. And like always, I'm putting links in the description of this video below to where you can get this and how much it costs. But in the end, I feel like it's one of the brightest that I have seen used. So I really like that. But if you expect on getting a projector where you in mid daylight uh, throw your uh, image on a 300 inch uh, size display um, midday, it's not gonna work. This is not 16,000. It's less than that, but it's still very good. Another important aspect of this projector is that you do get a very sharp image. I was actually quite shocked when I turned it on for the first time. This, of course, will also depend on the projection surface, but even a plain brick white wall will get you a cinema-like image quality with a very good dynamic range, and this is on a $200 budget projector. The sound quality on the AlphaWise Q9 really impressed me. It has a built-in double 5 watt speaker system that I really like. For casual watching experience, you can easily use just that as it has a decent bass and a great volume. You can obviously still use the built-in audio out jack on the projector or externally push the audio 
from your receiver and speaker system. Now I want to talk about the operating system, the connectivity and the input outputs. This projector comes in two versions. The more expensive one is based on an Android system and that's the one we have over here. I really recommend it more as you do get a LAN port while still having all the Wi-Fi connectivity options. The ability to install all of your streaming apps, including Netflix, and then just take the projector anywhere with you to create portable cinema without having to carry another Android-based streaming device. On the back of the projector, we do have the option of connecting just about anything, as we have VGA plug, two USB ports, an HDMI port, and even an old-fashioned AV input with the cables. We also have an audio out jack to get the audio into external speakers and an IR-based remote control to control all of the projector's functions from that remote. We can also use the buttons on the back of the projector itself that basically do anything and everything you really wanna do with this projector. If you wanna tilt the projector up, you just have to turn this knob, like I mentioned before, you do have to find it before you actually throw the box away. And that's about it. We have the power plug over here on the back that's basically all that you get the operating system uh, on my Android setup is uh, I like it a lot I think it's a unique operating system obviously because Android knows um, the way you are projecting so for example you can change it whether you're projecting into the ceiling or onto a wall or if you want to invert the picture you have all of these options based on the Android system which is really good here on the side you have the option to change the focus or to change the tilt of the image. So these two functions are really useful and you're gonna use them a lot, especially if you plan on changing the position of this uh, projector. By the way, in the box we get a bunch of cable. Obviously the two most important ones are gonna be the power plug and the remote. Other than that, all of the rest are kind of optional because the VGA plug is gonna be used if you connect an external PC, for example, you wanna show some slideshows from your PC. Um, you also get this cable, which is the AV in, as you can see with all of the options, including audio. We get an adapter for 110 volts, and we also get the HDMI cable over here if you wanna push video from an external, video and audio from an external, external, external source. We do get a quick manual, and that's about it. And this projector itself. So before I go into my final thoughts about this projector, I promised you guys a quick sneak preview of our next gadgets. And what I have over here is probably the world's cheapest quadcopter. That means that that's gonna be our next review on the channel. And you're really gonna like it because uh, this is the first time you'll spend less than $50 and get a really stable quadcopter with a camera. It's a good toy. And uh, if you have kids, for example, you wanna give them something not that expensive because you don't want them to break them. I'm definitely gonna check this quadcopter out and let you know everything about it. So definitely click on the red subscribe button down below because this is our next review here on Auto Deal. So to conclude, I must say I was truly amazed by the value I got from this AlphaWise Q9 projector. At this price range, there's nothing that even gets close. I do still wish we had a zoom feature on it and I will probably change the product marketing page to mention that this projector doesn't project a 4K image but supports 4K video files. Other than that, the AlphaWise Q9 helped me open my own weekend cinema so I can't be happier. That's it guys, feel free to post your comments down below this video as I will try my best to answer any questions that I might have not answered during this review. Also, I'm putting two videos over here for you to watch and another one over here. These three videos are really recommended if you watch this one, I'm sure you're gonna like one of these. So definitely continue this journey with me in one of these videos and also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Why haven't you done that already by clicking on this button? I'm gonna see you on my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.